want you I want you to do a favor. Do me a favor and please just like, tag, and share. Share with your neighbor. Uh, wake up everyone out of their beds and let's come on and let's give God praise. Good morning to everyone across seas. Good morning to well, good night. Good morning wherever you are. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us, Eternal Change Church, on this wonderful Sunday. Um, we are welcoming you to join us in worship. We are welcoming you and join us in praising on this morning. We're asking you this morning to not only just watch us, but to also uh, give God thanks and praise with us. Amen. So um, we're going to go into prayer. Dear God, I want to thank you this morning, God, for waking us up, God. Dear God, we thank you for not forgetting about us, God. Dear God, we thank you for keeping your promises. Dear God, we thank you for allowing us to wake up on the other side today. We, we did not wake up on the other side, but God, we woke up here in the land of the living. And God, we thank you. God, we give you praise. God, we give you glory. God, we give you adoration. We lift up your name. We magnify your name. God, we're asking you this morning to, oh God, to be who you want to be in our lives. Dear God, we're asking you this morning, God, to, oh God, to penetrate our hearts. To, oh God, to, 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 to captivate us, oh God. We're asking you, oh God, to wrap your loving arms around us, oh God. Dear God, we're asking you, God, dear God, to have your way. We grant you access. We grant you access in our lives this morning. We grant you access in our lives this morning. Dear God, we lift you up and we're forever giving you glory. We're forever giving you praise. We're forever lift your name. For you are the Alpha and the Omega in our lives. You are the one that sits high on the throne. You are the one that sees all things. Dear God, in, in times of trouble, you are the one that is there to help. Oh, God, in times of trouble, when we don't know where to look, when we don't know where to turn, God, your words so that you have never left us, and God, you have never, oh, God, forsaken us, and God, we thank you for that. We thank you, oh, God, for being a healer. We thank you, God, for protecting us. We thank you, God, for, oh, God, for, for having your way in our lives. Dear God, we lift you up. We magnify your name. We worship you, oh, God. We worship you. Oh God, we give you adoration on this morning. We give you adoration on this morning. Dear God, because we, hallelujah, you, we did not have to be here. Oh God, but you saw fit for us to be here on this wonderful Sunday morning, for some this wonderful Sunday evening. And God, we just glorify you. For you are the almighty King. You are the everlasting Father. You are the one that never fails. Fail. You never fail. You never fail. Oh God. God, we glorify you, Lord. We lift you up. We magnify you. Hallelujah. We you are in your beds. You can open your mouth and give him glory. Come on and open your mouth and give him praise where you are. If you're standing in your kitchen, you can tell him thank you. If you're standing, hallelujah, in your living room, along with your family. You can give him thanks and praise together. You can magnify the Lord with us on this morning. You can magnify the Lord with us. You can lift up your voice. Hallelujah. And praise his name. For he has not forgotten about us. Hallelujah. He has not forsaken us. He said that he'll never leave us. Nor he'll never forsake us. And so he always keeps his promise. Hallelujah. For generations and generations to come. He has kept his promise. And for that, God, we, we lift you up. For that, God, we magnify you. For that, God, we glorify you. For you, hallelujah, God, you have made ways out of no ways. God, you have opened doors. Hallelujah. When it seems we had no way out. Dear God, you have opened windows. When it seems that we may be trapped. God, you have made ways out of no ways. We, God, we praise you. We glorify you. We magnify you. For you are the author and the finisher. 
finisher of our faith. You are the God of our salvation. Dear God, we come to you humbly. We come to you.
for being the God that we can come to, the God that we can trust in. God, we thank you for being the one that we can confide in. When we don't know who we can talk to, our friends and our family, they may turn our they, their back on us. But God, we thank you for being the one that has never, and you promise not to ever, turn your back on us. All we have to do is come to you. And so today I invite you to, to come I invite you into I invite you to come and, 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 and to open your mouth and to give him glory. I invite you to, to, to lift his name. I invite you to join us on this morning as we give the God who has made ways out of no ways glory and honor and praise on this morning. I invite you. And, and, and I, I, I give you glory, God. Have your way in our lives. Have your way in our lives. God, we pray, oh God, for every person that may be watching this live that is not a believer. But God, they saw something. And they said, well, I've tried this and I've tried that. I pray, God, that you will soften their hearts. I pray, God, that you would allow them to feel, feel your presence. Allow them, oh God, to experience you in a new way, in a different way. Allow them, oh God, hallelujah, to experience you in a way where they may say, God, forgive me of my sins. That they may say, God, accept me into your family, that they may say, God, without you, I am lost. We pray for those today. We pray for the lost. We pray for the broken heart. Hallelujah, Jesus. All those across the world, wherever you may be, I challenge you this morning that every problem that you may face, that you would open your mouth right now and you would give him glory because he has made the way. But you have to let him do what he wants to do. Let him do it how he wants to do it. Let him do it how he wants to do it. And God will make a way. God will give you the peace that you've been longing for. God will give you the joy that you've been longing for. God will take away the fake smile and he will give you a genuine one. You don't have to put on the fake face anymore. But you can take that off. Give your problems to God. And in exchange, he will give you joy. In exchange, he will lift your spirits. He will give you what you need. God, we thank you. God, we adore you. For you are the almighty King. You are the everlasting Father. You are the one that fell this not. And God, we
Oh, yes, it does, God. My hallelujah belongs to you. Nobody else will get it from me. Say, my hallelujah belongs to you. Oh, yes, say, my hallelujah belongs to you. Hey, say, oh, oh, oh. Facebook, so please look out for that information as well. Um, some dates to uh, just keep in your calendar for next year. Uh, January 16th through the 17th is our New Year Outpour with Prophetess Barbara Calloway. Amen. That's going to be on the 16th at 6 p.m. and on the 17th at 7 p.m. Amen. It's going to be held at the Senior Center. Amen. So please govern yourself accordingly. And I want you all to uh, enjoy the rest of the service. Amen. Amen. God bless.
from the inside. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, it is I, Pastor Lawrence. Hallelujah. Not sufficient. Sure. Hallelujah. I tried to get her to come back up. She said, no, I don't need that. <laughs> but God is good. I want to give honor to God, who is the head of my life. Hallelujah. Giving honor to our apostle, Bishop Jason Furlow, our overseers, Dr. Smith and Overseer Smith. Hallelujah. Giving honor to God for the elders and the leaders and everyone that is a part of ECC far and near, amen. I absolutely love you, but Jesus loves you the best, amen. Hallelujah. God is amazing. I give God praise for the opportunity to be before you, but I won't be before you long, I promise you. I won't be before you long, but I'm going to allow God to have his way, amen. Hallelujah. God is a good God, hallelujah. How are you doing this early morning and, or afternoon, whatever time you're listening? afternoon hallelujah how are you doing are you up are you in the bed like i would be watching <laughs> are you behind your desk are you in the kitchen where you at in the living room hallelujah now don't be driving and watching at the same time i know there's no law about watching church while driving however <laughs> we don't want any access on our account amen hey <laughs> we don't want those type of testimonies god done spared my life what wrong with he do I was watching ECC, <laughs> and I almost got it. <laughs> no, we don't want any of those, amen? <laughs> amen. God is good. Hallelujah. We love to laugh, amen, over here in ECC. I know I do. Hallelujah. God is amazing. And I also want to give God for our musician, hallelujah, and the sound man, our elder, hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. I am very, very, very thankful to be here or and be in the land of the living hallelujah if it had not been for the lord who was on my side and i don't say that lightly neither do i say that loosely because i've been through much amen whether it was my fault or whether it was not my fault i've been through much hallelujah i've been through some tests hallelujah and i've been through some trials hallelujah I've been through some ups, and I've been through some downs. I've been through some of my valleys, hallelujah. And I felt like I was on some type of mountain or hill, hallelujah. I felt like I was high somewhere, hallelujah. Then I came back down. But God, God still kept me. So that's why I say, if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side. I've been through relationships, hallelujah, that weren't beneficial for me, hallelujah, whether I connected on purpose intentionally or I didn't, hallelujah, but God still kept me. Glory to his name, hallelujah, glory to his name. How many of you can say the same thing? I've been through, hallelujah, dot, 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 and you can fill in the blank, hallelujah. You know what you've been through, you know what, hallelujah, you know what you've gone through, you know what type of test, hallelujah, you had to face, you had to come through, you know, hallelujah, what type of valleys, hallelujah, you had to go through, you know what type of caves you had to come out of, hallelujah, you know what dark place you were in, oh glory to his name, hallelujah, this is why you can open your mouth wherever you are, hallelujah, and say, if it had not been 
for the Lord who is on my side. Hallelujah. I won't ask the question where I would be because I have the answer to where I would be. Hallelujah. I know I wouldn't be standing here. Hallelujah. I probably would be still in that same space, that same place. Hallelujah. Doing that same old thing. Hallelujah. But God, hallelujah, he kept me. God, he brought me in. Hallelujah. He pulled me. Hallelujah. When I did not want to be pulled on, when I did not want to be drawn, hallelujah, he still did it. Hallelujah. So I can stand here and say, if it had not been for the Lord who was on my, I don't have to look back years ago. I don't have to look back months ago. I don't even have to look back weeks ago. I can look back from yesterday. Hallelujah. If it had not been for the Lord who was on my side. Hallelujah. I can look back hours ago and say if it had not been for the Lord who is on my side. Hallelujah. I did not have to wake up because I didn't do everything that was good. Hallelujah. Or everything that deserved for me to wake up. Hallelujah. God could have let hallelujah left me asleep hallelujah and sleep right on oh glory to his name but because i'm alive hallelujah hallelujah but because i'm alive hallelujah but because i'm alive hallelujah but because you are alive hallelujah we can shout us and say there's still more hallelujah there is still more why because i'm alive the songwriter said it hallelujah i'm alive because there's still more wonderful jesus every time i breathe i'm breathing in purpose every time i breathe hallelujah i breathe in the plans of god every time i breathe i breathe in the promise of God. Every time I take a breath, hallelujah. Every time I blink, uh, every time I move my limbs, oh glory to the name of God, I'm activating the plan and the purpose of God. Hallelujah. So I can stand here and say again, if it had not been for the Lord who is on my side, oh glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I don't have to give God praise just for myself, but I can give God praise for those that I know. Hallelujah. That should have gone on but God hallelujah still seen fit uh, to allow them to remain in the land of the living yet one more time so I can stand here and say again if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, saints of God, where you are, I want you, hallelujah, to part your mouth, hallelujah, and continue the praise, hallelujah. Continue giving God glory. Continue giving God honor. Continue extolling the Father. Continue to lift him up, hallelujah. We will move on from this space, uh, but hallelujah, but right now in this very moment, uh, I feel the presence of the Lord, uh, hallelujah. I want you now to give God praise. Come on, be intentional about your praise. Come on, hallelujah. Put a target on your praise. Come on, come on, focus your praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on from your mouth to the ears of the Father. Come on, allow him to hear the sound that is yet familiar to him. Come on and open your mouth right now where you are and give God praise. He said in his word, I inhabit the praises of my people. Not just inhabit, I live, I dwell, I abide, I sit in, I lay in, I remain. Come on and welcome him. Oh, glory to the name of Jesus. Come on and welcome him. Come on, welcome him. Come on, shift your atmosphere, your atmosphere right where you are. Shift your mind right where you are. Come on, the atmosphere of your mind, the atmosphere of your heart, the atmosphere of your soul. Come on, come on, lift up your head, oh ye gates, and be ye lifted, ye everlasting doors. Come on and invite the King of glory in. Come on and invite the King of glory in. Come on and invite the King of glory in. Hallelujah. Who is this King of glory? The Lord God strong and mighty. The Lord God mighty in battle. Come on saints. Open up your mouth and give God praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, just a few more moments uh, right here in this space. Uh, I'm telling you now, uh, I don't have much to say. Uh, whether I stay in this space uh, or whether I move from this space, uh, 
God is going to have his way right where you are. I see the hand of God stretching right to where you are. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He's going to meet the need. He's going to fulfill the promise. Yes, sir. He's going to fill the void. He's going to separate. He's going to place. Yeah. Come on, open your mouth and give God glory. <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah hey <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> yeah 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 come on give them praise <laughs> come on give them praise <laughs> those that are even here come on give them praise <laughs> come on give them praise <laughs> wonderful savior <laughs> yeah lord yeah lord yeah lord <laughs> Come on, give him praise. Come on, give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Come on, saints of God. Hallelujah. 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 Wonderful Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb of God. I feel the presence of the Lord. I see God wanting to visit. And he's right there, right where you are. Even now, he is there. Hallelujah. Now all you have to do is open up. Open up to him. Open up to him. Open up to him. Open up to him. Hallelujah. He is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. He doesn't change. Hallelujah. He has not changed his mind concerning you. No matter how far you are, hallelujah, he has not changed his mind concerning you. His plan, hey, and his promises, like the prayer warrior said, they are yea and amen. The word even says he's not slack concerning any of his promises. Come on, praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm getting excited too early. Hallelujah. Getting excited too early. Hallelujah. That means I might, I might end soon. Very, very soon. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. 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 I feel the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. God is amazing. Hallelujah. I'm trying to keep it in English. Hallelujah. But God is going to get the glory out of today. Hallelujah. Not just out of my life, but yours. Hallelujah. Because you took the time, hallelujah, to tune in, hallelujah, and hear, hallelujah, not just hear, but participate, hallelujah, participating by opening up your mind and being a receptive to the worship, to the praise, to the word, hallelujah, you will also be blessed, hallelujah, you will also be blessed, hallelujah, 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 God is amazing. God is yet kind. God is yet sweet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, he is the Alpha and the Omega. Yeah, he is the beginning, the end. Yeah, he is the first and the last. That he is. Hallelujah. He doesn't change. But I want to know, who is he to you? Who is he to you? We've heard throughout our years who God is. The many names, hallelujah, and characters of God. But personally, who is he to you? We all may have the same mother, hallelujah, but she may be something different to us. Hallelujah. We may all have the same father, but he may be something different to us. Hallelujah. So who is God to you? And once you acknowledge who God is to you, I want you to take a few seconds, hallelujah. Y'all know I love to praise and worship God. I love to praise and worship him, hallelujah. Not only because he responds, but that's because I love him so much. Hallelujah, I can't, I can't find myself doing anything else. It don't matter what it is. Hallelujah, I'm going I'm to praise him, hallelujah. So I want you to take this moment, take a little time, hallelujah, and give God praise, give God worship, hallelujah. We're going to move on, but I want you to take that time. Because I know you feel the presence of the Lord where you are. We feel him. Hallelujah. And again, it's no glory of our own while we feel him. Hallelujah. He hears something that's familiar to him. And that's the sound of praise. Genuine worship. Hallelujah. Woo. Heartfelt worship. Come on, allow your worship now to connect with him. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. While you hear the musician play, come on. You do it. You do it. You do it. Open your mouth. 
You do it. Come on. Raise your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your feet. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. It don't matter. Roll over to the left. Roll over to the right. Come on. You, but you give God praise. Wonderful Savior. Come on. You give it to him. Give it to him. Hallelujah. Even if you're in South Africa, hallelujah, with the giraffes and stuff. Come on. They're going to praise God too. Come on. Do it together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come back to America. Come on. Do it with them. Do it with them. Do it with them. God is good. Do it with them. Do it with them. Do it with them. Come on. We love you. Come on. He love you. I love you. Come on. But I just want you to take that moment. Give it to him. Come on, however you do it. Come on, they doing it in here. Come on, I know you're doing it over there. I know you're doing it where you are. Come on, come on. Let all the nations praise God. Let every ethnic group praise God. Let every gender praise God. Come on, praise him, praise him, praise him. Praise him. Let every age praise God. Let all generations praise God. Come on, bless him. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, come on, hallelujah. We're setting, we're paving the way for the Lord. Come on, come on, come on. Jesus is soon to come. He is soon to come. Hallelujah. Some of us are trying to be ready. Some of us are ready. Some of us are hesitating to even be ready. Hallelujah. But wherever you find yourself, just find yourself giving God praise. And let God do the rest. Come on, find yourself giving God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful Savior. Hallelujah. Bless the name of God. Oh, wonderful Jesus. We bless your name, dear Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. We thank you now for visiting us. We thank you now for paying attention to us. We thank you now for looking upon us. We thank you now, God, for being with us. Hallelujah. We thank you now, God, that where your spirit is, there is liberty. I just felt the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Releasing strength. Hallelujah. To weak areas. I feel God releasing strength to weak areas. I receive it for myself. But I, I, hallelujah, God is releasing strength to weak areas. The Bible says that he will become strong in our weaknesses. But we have to acknowledge him and allow him to come into those areas. Yeah, sometimes it's challenging. Sometimes we feel like we can do it better than him or faster than he can. But look how far that got us. <laughs> and look where it got us. Come on. The Lord is releasing strength to weak areas. You know where those areas are. Let them in those areas. Come on. Let them in those areas. Let them in those areas. Hallelujah. 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 He is our strength. <laughs> he is our strength. He is our strength. Hallelujah. 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 If I don't get to the word and I'm just doing this, hallelujah, trust this is the word, hallelujah, I'm going to release the word of the Lord for us, hallelujah, hallelujah. But in this moment, hallelujah, I want you to receive now, while you minister to him, he's ministering to you. Come on, to an audience of one. There's no lights, cameras, or even action. Come on, just you and the Lord. You and the Lord, you and the Lord. Come on. Come on. If you got to close your eyes, close them. If you need to close the bedroom door, close it. If you need to close the bathroom door, close that too. It should be closed. But close it. Close it. If you need to go run in the car like I do sometimes and just sit in there and just begin to meditate on the things of the Lord and begin to have a dialogue with Him, go do that. Come on, do it. Get in that place. Get in that space. Hey, hallelujah. I'm telling you, I'm feeling the unction of the Lord. I'm feeling the unction of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to get there. 
because he's releasing strength in the weak areas. Hey. When they said time heals all wounds, I want to say I beg to differ. I want to say Jesus heals all wounds. Hey. And you don't have to wait long for the healing either. May God healing, hallelujah, reach you right where you are. Come on, receive it. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the name of God. 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 Uh, glory to the name of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glory to the name of God. Yay. I see the Lord healing hearts. When I say heart, not the physical one, but the mind. I see God going into, hallelujah, Yay. every facet of our mind every part of our mind and he's ministering there come on hallelujah 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 we just going to flow where God is where God takes us that's where we go because we just want to be where he is at the end of the day we want to be right where he is I said that to somebody today I traveled all the way from South Carolina and I stayed up here just to get to this moment. <laughs> I kind of went through every week, all, all week. <laughs> but God is still yet amazing. I almost did not get here. <laughs> Hallelujah. But we thank God for my brother, <laughs> Elder Vaughn Smith. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. He is his mother's child. <laughs> Glory to his name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, bless God. Bless God. And we're still here, and it's by the grace of God. We're still here, and it's by the grace of God. Hallelujah. 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 Woo. All right, I'm going to try to move on. Okay? So y'all move with me. All right? I promise you I'm not going to preach. I'm just sharing, okay? <laughs> I'm just sharing. I'm only sharing. Wonderful Savior. Hallelujah. So, I was asked, well, I wasn't asked. <laughs> I was told to uh, teach today. Hallelujah. And um, usually, normally, you know, if I'm being honest, saints of God. So, this is my time, so I can take it. Hallelujah. <laughs> I usually kind of, you know, fight it, you know. Strangely, I just said okay. And I, I after I got off that phone, I said, What? You said okay? I was shocked. I promise you. Still up until this point, I'm still shocked. <laughs> that I didn't come up with some legitimate excuse <laughs> to get out of this. And I tried. <laughs> but some strange reason nobody was having it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it's okay. It is okay. I'm here. Hallelujah. It's me and you together, okay? <laughs> but I'm here. So, I do have a word from the Lord, and, you know, it's going to be one of those encouraging words, you know? And for some, you know, they may have to, you know, check themselves. You know, it's okay, because we all have to reassess almost every day. Paul said in his word, and I'm on, you know, his word said, we die to the flesh daily. So if you die to the flesh daily, that means you're checking yourself every day. <laughs> Sometimes we don't check ourselves. I'm laughing because that's me sometimes. I don't check myself. I'm, I, I'm not even quick to check somebody else. No, I ain't. You can even do something, I'm not even going to check it. I, I got to that point, I'm like, I ain't even giving energy to it. 
You know what I mean? You do what you do, just don't touch me. You know what I mean? Just want it all. You feel me? I don't even check myself sometimes. But then there are those times when somebody, a parent, because usually if you're closer to a parent, you have your parent, or, you know, you're close to somebody, they usually the ones that know you, and they truly love you, and they don't want to see you keep walking, you know, incorrectly, or operating out of any disobedience or rebellion. They're going to check you. You get what I'm saying? They're going to they, they check you. Isn't that right? They're going to check you. So, you know, throughout the weeks, I want to say God has literally been checking me. Checking my life. Every part of my life is being checked by the Lord. And this is not me even being deep, but we're supposed to be deep anyway. But however, I ain't mystical. Meanwhile, he's checking me. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Is the Lord checking you? Sometimes we don't even know whether or not God is checking us. Right? Well, you know, sometimes you don't know. I would take, I want you to take a moment. I'm going I'm to do that a lot throughout this message. I want you to take moments because we don't take those moments for ourselves. So I want you to take those moments, take this moment right here, and I want you to think, has God been checking you? Anything in your life, it don't matter what it is. Something big, something small, something minute, some love. Has he been checking you? Because he surely has been checking Lawrence, okay? Even along while he checking me, I felt like I've been tripping over his checks. You get what I'm saying? But then he checked me again and get me back up. <laughs> it's just true. He get me back up. You know what I mean? I'm one of those just men that may, may fall however way, whichever way, whatever, and he gets me back up because he loves me that much. Do I take advantage of his grace? I do not. I just say, Lord, why you keep doing this? I get those moments with God, and I'm just like, oh, wow. Because sometimes when God starts dealing with you, you don't get energetic. <laughs> you get worn out already, and he ain't even go far yet. <laughs> he be like, I just want to talk to you. I be like, oh. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I say to myself, what did I do? What did I do this time? Or what have I not done that I should have been doing? Do you get those checks? I get those checks now almost on a regular. Huh? I'm telling you, I get those checks. You know how sometimes you take, you choose to take sabbaticals and say, I just need a little break. Just a, just a little tad break. And you make that little tad vacation a longer vacation so now you're paying more expenses <laughs> because you choose to stay out a little longer right and then it got a little good to you so you stay out even longer so you go back into that account and this time you know your checking is maxed out so now you you dipping into the savings hallelujah and that's supposed to be for a rainy day but clearly in your mind there's some rain somewhere so what you do <laughs> it's true and then you go into your saving huh and you spend and you spend. You know, you're like, oh, I still got enough. I got enough. I got enough. You know, I ain't going to hurt. Nothing. Keep spending. Oh, I'll make that some other time. Uh, spend, spend, spend. The longer you're on this sabbatical, the more money you spend. Okay, I'm a, I say money. But the more it costs. Let's hold that word, cost. You know, it, it, the more it costs. The more you're out of the will, the, long, the more it costs. You hear what I'm saying? The longer <laughs> you don't do the will of the Lord, <laughs> the more it costs. The more it costs. The more it costs. I feel the Lord. The more it costs. The more you tell yourself yes, and you decide to tell the Lord not so much the word no, but in your actions no. Because you know sometimes we ain't that bold to say no to the Lord. But in our actions, we'll move the way we move. You understand? When the Lord say go right, we decide to go right, but then we, we, <laughs> you know, we, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We may do one of them, you know, little moonwalks. We may do one of them things. You feel me? <laughs> but every time we do that, it costs. Then when we decide to go back into our savings, 
what do we find? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't messed out. But God knows it ain't where it should have been or where it was. It's no longer there. So now you don't have the revenue to pull from your savings. Because now you're spent out. The Bible says it best. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God through is eternal life. I know y'all finishing it for me because there's a lot of Bible scholars. I'm still in school by the string of the Lord. I love you, Overseer Renee Smith. <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm going to come through. I'm come through. <laughs> but see, now if it cost a lot when we sin, because sometimes what we do, we don't consider it sin. Let's be honest. The major sin that we look at would be fornication, adultery, which is considered fornication, and what's another major one? Throw it out there. Murder. Murder. Thou shalt not kill. Murder. And there's another one that we, everybody look at. Give me some. Stealing. Look at those. You see, those are major ones. Come on, y'all Y'all help me. I know y'all on here. Type it on here. I'm looking on my thing, looking at y'all at the same time. Come on, type it on here. Hallelujah. I feel like I'm on a TV show. Hallelujah. Like Jeopardy. <laughs> Wheel of fortune. God is a wonder in my soul. Come on. So we look at these things as sin, and we know that these things are sin. But we also know that there's no big sin, no little sin. Amen? It's just sin. Right? And then we ask ourselves, then what is sin? We, everybody preach about sin all the time. But trust and believe, I'm not staying on sin, y'all, because we are sinners saved by grace. Glory to his name. But what is sin? It's just missing the mark. You hear how easy that definition is? Missing the mark? How easy is it to miss the mark? Hallelujah. You said very, you made my Holy Ghost go left. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. I almost fell into the organ. Hallelujah. Catch me. Glory to his name. <laughs> Hallelujah. How easy. How easy is it to miss the How many times have we missed the mark? When God told us, like Bishop has been preaching for years upon years, you know, to get your business together. <laughs> you know, he mean literally like your business. 501c3k510. Get those things together. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real, right? Patent your stuff. You know what I mean? Get it together. God wants you to be the head and not the above and not. Come on, Linda. Like, borrower. <laughs> Hallelujah. He don't want you to be, he don't want us to be these things. See, I'm, while I'm teaching y'all, I'm teaching to me too. Okay? While he's trying to catch up, he's catching me up too. I'm telling you, we all going to be checked at the same time. Glory to his name. For different reasons and different levels. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we're all not in the same place. Hallelujah. But we all know that there's still something in our life that needs a little checking. Hallelujah. So how many times have you missed the mark? Huh? How many times has the Lord or the Holy Ghost instructed you to go to the store. It's going to sound funny, but he do these things. He, he does. Go to the store and just go to the store. You don't know what you're going to the store for. You don't know. But then when you get there, he, there's somebody right there on your lane. Hallelujah. Just missing the mark. Just missing the mark, right? See, I'm going to ask a question. I'm going to ask a lot of questions. You can answer them, okay? I may not hear them. But I hear it in the spirit. Glory to his name. <laughs> now I'm playing with you. <laughs> so don't go shouting it. <laughs> God is a wonder. I'm serious. <laughs> how many times? Now, how many times? How many times have we been in this in the space where God said, This person is on your course? But because of our emotional selves, we said, I don't want to have nothing to do with this one. Uh-uh, uh, uh. uh, uh. God, you already know. You know them and you know me. You know my attitude. Oh, God, you know. 
Oh, I ain't got it for them. But if God said for you to assist them in whichever way, I mean, he gave you the ability, the capability, the know-all, the withal, to get the job done. But instead, because of our emotional selves, what did we do? We missed the mark. I missed the mark. Oh, my goodness. Missed the mark. Hallelujah. And then some of, some of us don't care that we missed that mark. Because <laughs> we have a lot of pride. A lot of pride. How many people on our course have we missed? And we know without a shadow of a doubt that we were supposed to assist them in whichever way. I use the word assist because when we say minister, it can, it can come in a different form. You know what I'm saying? So I say, I say the word assist. How many people have we missed? All right. So I, let's, let's do this one. When we were alone, when we were alone, I feel the Lord. See, you looking at me, you got my Holy Ghost getting excited. When we were alone, ain't nobody was there but us. Huh? And the Lord just simply, he just, he just tapped tap your spirit. And he just wanted you to talk to him for a little while. That's it. Just talk to him for a little while. He asked for nothing major. But when you felt them, child, listen. Everything else came, can't come on. Everything else became priority. Huh? I got to check my emails, my iMessage. Huh? I got to check. Huh? I got, that's what you got to do. You got to you got to check Instagram. I got to slide in my own DM. <laughs> Forget about somebody else sliding in it. I got to. Huh? <laughs> I got to check my Snapchat. Cause you know they got messages there too. They do tick. I don't even have TikTok. I don't want TikTok. No ticking, no talking over here. No, uh, no, no. No, and no, and no. Okay, Instagram is enough for me. <laughs> can't handle it no more. I'm, I'm getting older. <laughs> I personally can't do it. <laughs> I mean, you got all these other social medias. You get what I'm saying? When the Lord decided just to tap on your spirit, tap on your heart, knock on the door, because he wanted to come in and sup with you. What did you do? Did you respond to him accordingly? Or did you run to those other sources? Did you miss the mark? Did you miss the mark? Ask yourself the question, did you miss the mark? All right, let's do this. I hear you, Lord. Let's do this. All right, so we're like when some of us say, oh, okay, I'm going on a diet. I'm going, oh, I'm going on a diet. I'm excited. Oh, this is the will of God for my life. I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. I'm going to die. God, I'm not going to eat no more meat, no more red meat. I ain't going to have that. I'm going to have fish from the sea. And, <laughs> and I'm going to have shrimp and lobster. See, they want expensive stuff when they go on diet. Well, <laughs> they want granola bars from Nature Valley. You know, <laughs> Instead, just get you some grains and put that thing together. They want their own stuff. You see what I'm saying? They want expensive stuff. So when they go on diets, this is what happened. What did you do when you knew you were supposed to go on a diet? When you told yourself you were going to go on a diet, when you knew you should have went on that diet, what did you do? Did you adhere to your plan? Or did you instead decide to say, you know what? I'm a, I passed this fast food restaurant so many times. It must be the will. Let me go back. I'm just going to get a little chicken. They say I can have a cheat day. You didn't even start yet. But, you know, I'm going to have a little cheat day. I start my cheat day early. Everybody know. Pastor Lawrence, do not. Hallelujah. You should have gave me a on that one. Pastor Lawrence, do not like dieting. There you go. I felt the Holy Ghost on the right side. Do not like to die. Hallelujah. Hallelujah does not. I don't mind doing the workout every now and again, praise Jehovah. Now, if I get too tired, I'm stuck. <laughs> but I don't like to diet. So let me tell you something. I'm always missing that mark, okay? And you cannot part me from chicken. You cannot part. Right? Y'all like chicken too, right? Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Lord. Glory. I like, like okay, I'm going to testify and shame my devil, okay? While you sit there, you testify and shame your devil. 
while you still going to the kitchen. Look what I'm saying to you. Every time we go to a restaurant, anybody that knows Pastor Lord, now you're going to know me. I have to see chicken on the menu. And it has to be bone in. Ain't no boneless. Don't give me no boneless chicken. God did not make no chicken without a bone. <laughs> Somebody asked me the other day, why I got to have a bone? Because it was created with a bone. Don't take my bone out. I'm not take my own bone. I take the, chew the meat off the bone. And if I want to suck the bone, I'm going to do that too. Hear what I'm saying. <laughs> I got a point to this. <laughs> Flow with me. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I cannot. There's some things in my life that I just like way too much. And if something or somebody come along and say, well, you need to separate ye yourself from this here thing. Can I do it? Can I? <laughs> I'm be honest. I'm trying to be honest. Can I do it? No, sir. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I cannot do it. I can't. <laughs> They said I can do all things through Christ, but I don't be wanting to do that through Christ. I just want, I just, like fasting. Fasting is dieting to me. It's all the same thing to me, you know, but just different <laughs> results. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get skinny from the both of them. But <laughs> but if I die, if I die, oh, my Lord, if I diet, I become healthy physically, right? And if I fast, I become skinny physically, right? But they said I, get, I gained more ground when I fast, right? I gained more ground. I, I gained more power. I gained more discipline. Isn't that right? You gain more discipline when you fast. And when you diet, you, you gain more discipline. When you work out often and you keep the regimen and you keep the momentum, hallelujah, you begin to discipline yourself. How many of us have missed the mark called discipline? How many of us? have missed the mark called discipline. I have. Disciplining the flesh is not always easy. Can you attest to that? Can you attest to disciplining the flesh is not easy? Well, we were never told that this road would be easy anyway. Huh? They never told us that. But they told us that it's doable with Christ. I hear you, Holy Ghost. How many, why we keep missing the mark? Now, why we keep missing the mark? We continue, there's only really one reason why we keep missing the mark. That's because we choose. One, it's a choice. Two, we decide to do it without Christ. Because if the scripture said I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength, then that means I'm able to get through this thing or get this job done, get this assignment done. Isn't that right? Because it's in his will. But once I decide, hallelujah, to say I'm going to do it on my own will, my own strength, that's when I decided to say, well, I'm going to miss the mark. I'm going to miss the mark. How many of us, I hear you, Holy Ghost. How many of us have, has the Lord called just to pray for our family? Maybe just go sometime and sit in the house. You ain't got to sit there and a huck them a shy and all that great stuff. Just sit there and love them. Have fun with them. But because, and, and because the Spirit of the Lord is with you and in you, he's already doing the work. Because you're there. You're there where he called you to be. But instead, you say, well, I don't like that family member. I can't stand that family member. I, we, we don't talk. Oh, we clash. God, you already know. God knows a whole lot. He knows you better than you know yourself. I, 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 use, I hate when I hear people say that all the time. Oh, God knows my heart. He does. The Bible says God knows the heart. He knows it's desperately wicked. And no man knows it but him. Now, we can tell what's in your heart by your action and the fruit that you bear. Meanwhile, how many of us have intentionally chosen to miss the mark? How many of us has chosen to miss the mark? 
God said, I want you to go work here for a little while. But because of your pride, oh, I ain't working there. Uh-uh, that's not, listen, I went to school for this and that and that and that. And that. I, my whole resume is three, five pages long. God, I can't be working there. But then there was something else that God wanted to build within you. Sometimes we miss the mark because we don't see it. And because we don't see it, we take matters in our own hand. So because now, now because we don't see it, we say to ourselves, silently, I'm no longer going to walk by faith, but I'm going to walk by sight. And that's the very thing God don't want us to do. How many of us has operated in sight instead of faith? Instead of seeing it through the eyes or the lenses of the Holy Ghost, you decided to look through the lens of the imperfected thing, of the impure thing, the undelivered thing, the thing that's not yet healed, the thing that's not yet set free. How many of us has missed the mark? How many of us has missed the mark? How many of us has missed the mark? So today, because I'm about to end, I told you I won't be long. I want to be a man of my word. Hallelujah. How many of us has missed the mark? Take a few moments, because I'm concluding. Take a few moments. And think about what God has really called you to do. Think about where God want you to go. Let me tell you. Yeah, I, I, I moved to South Carolina. I live down there now. Is it permanent? No, I know that for a fact. Hallelujah. If somebody else is praising God and we're not going to give his name. Hallelujah. He is out the will. Glory to his name. <laughs> I think they all set up <laughs> with each other with God and... <laughs> <laughs> sabotage my entire life. But God is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I mean, listen, I live down there. But let me tell you, I kept telling y'all, God kept checking me, checking me. Let me tell you, I'm, I'm be honest, I don't mind sharing my stuff because only God can put me in heaven. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. But hear what I'm saying to you. I'm going to be open, vulnerable, and transparent. God will check you in different forms, different days, different times. Huh? Let me tell you. He's been doing that to Lawrence. How has he been doing this to Lawrence? One, sometimes in prayer. Two, he sends his people to check your life. They may not attack that thing, but while they're speaking, you can feel the check of the Lord. Like God is saying, now correct yourself. It's not God saying that I'm going to put you in place. No, put yourself back in place. You stepped out, now you come back in. Huh? All right, so this was, now, now this, this, this is just me, y'all. Hear me. So God checks you through people. Right? And let me tell you, it don't matter what age. It don't matter what age. If God was able to use a donkey, now let me tell you, God going to use any and every one that will be a willing vessel just to get his word across. He gonna do it, okay? He gonna use a little baby if he has to, okay? He gonna use a senior citizen if he has to. He gonna use a middle-aged individual if he has to. I don't want him to use no animal for me. Beside a parrot, that's fine. Cause I'm ex I expect that thing to talk. Now anything else talking, <laughs> I'm walking. So you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> hear what I'm saying? <laughs> this, this truth doesn't matter. So God will check you through anything and anyone. He'll check you on TV, through a radio, through music. You'll feel the conviction of the Lord. Huh? He will do it. Yes, he will. Why? Because he loves us. He only chastises those whom he loves. 
And he loves us so much. He cannot see us stay out of the will or continue to do our own thing when he knows that at the end is destruction. You hear me? Destruction don't mean you're going to lose your life physically, maybe for some. But for others, you may lose something permanently. And you don't want to do that. But let me tell you, this was not really my message. <laughs> but I had to be led by the Holy Ghost. He checked me again today. So I, I admonish you, my brothers and my sisters. Allow the Lord, the Holy Ghost, allow him. He that dwells within you, the one that you decree and declare that is the greater one within you, allow him to be the great one within you. Because we cannot continue to be out here looking weak. Why should we continue to operate in weakness when we have a great one in us? We don't want to miss the mark. Sometimes it happens. But when you know, you know, when it comes to you and you realize you missed it, get up. Don't stay down there. Check yourself. Go apologize to whomever you got to apologize to. Seek after forgiveness. And forgive. Don't wait for somebody to come to you to ask you for forgiveness. Forgive them already. Be like God. Forgive them already. It's never an easy thing to do. And it's not for the person, but it's for you. Forgive them already and love them the same. Don't the Bible say bless those who persecute you <laughs> and do evil against you in my name? That's what the Bible says. Forgive already. That's a blessing. Be merciful to them. That's another blessing. I'm not telling you something that I have not done and that I'm not doing because I am doing it even to this moment. I'm doing it. Even with family members, I'm doing it. <laughs> and I know they wrong me. Okay? But let me tell you, how I operate is different. I say at the end of the day, I ain't going to be living here too much longer. <laughs> I got somewhere to go. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to go to the, I'm not trying to go to hell. I ain't, I ain't going there. It's a choice. I'm not going. Okay? I may be do, I do some stupid stuff. I may say, say some stupid stuff because I'm human at times. But let me tell you something. One thing I know that's smart. <laughs> I'm going to heaven. <laughs> I ain't going to heaven. You going to heaven? You going, you going to heaven? And then he, he said, yeah, I'm going to heaven. Y'all going to heaven too? Yeah, they, they sure. See, you got the Bible says make, make your election sure. Come on, don't miss the mark for nothing or nobody. Come on. Our lives don't deserve it. All right? You've done what you've done, to, you know, long enough. God allowed you to do what you do long enough. Now it's his time. And it needs to remain his time. How I know it was the Lord's time for me. When I kept driving long distance from South Carolina up here to Delaware. I hate driving long distance. I hate it. I hate I'm telling you. I'm so sad. God said, I ain't bless you with a new car for no reason. But God, I ain't know you were going to use it for that reason. You know what I mean? Drive back and forth. We don't do that. God, you bless us with planes too. Can I get on one? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Sometimes we have to go the distance to get to where God is and to get what God has for us. Virtual church wasn't doing it for Lawrence. It, was just, it just wasn't doing it for me. God knows. Yeah, the pandemic had us locked. But God knows there was so much locked away I can do. I'll be honest, because you know when you lock a person away too long, child, they mind start roo -roo 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 -roo, and then them bodies start roo -roo 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 -roo. you get what y'all get what I'm saying? Read between all them do 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 do. <laughs> you understand? You start doing your own thing now. 
But then you and then you keep you keep making yourself believe. Oh, I love God. I love him. Oh, I believe God. I believe him. <laughs> but you're still doing your own thing. You hear what I'm saying? So sometimes you have to go the mile. Sometimes you have to go the distance to get what God has. <laughs> to be where God is. You have to. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm done. I am done. Hallelujah. God is amazing. I thank God again for this opportunity to stand before his people. Hallelujah. I do. I don't take it lightly because we're held accountable for what comes out of our mouths and for what we play or what we do. It don't matter because it's all ministry to God. We're held accountable for everything. So with a with a pure heart and with the hallelujah. I want to say thank you. Thank you. I thank you for pay, paying attention and tuning in. I thank God again for allowing me to be here. Hallelujah. I don't want to ramble. But I want I want to uh give homage to whom homage is due. And it's definitely due to God. Amen. When God decides to say, I want to use you. I'm telling you, saints of God, let him do it. No matter the sacrifice, no matter the sacrifice, I almost feel like crying because I understand sacrifice. And I know some of you all understand. Being in God, it takes sacrifice. Financial sacrifice, emotional sacrifice, <laughs> mental, <laughs> physical sometimes. But at the end of the day, when you're in him, he'll carry you through. And he continuously provides. Tim Lament said it best. Watch God provide. Watch him provide. All you have to do is do his will and focus on him. Some things may try to come in the way to detour you, to distract you, to take your focus off of him. But you got to shake yourself, catch yourself. Get back to it. There you have it. Check yourself. Get back to it. Get back to it. Come on. And, oh, and know this too. No man can do this alone. It takes teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. So sometimes you got to find the right connect. Not the one you want. Let it be the one that God orchestrated. And how would you know? You can ask him. Sometimes we get afraid of asking the Lord. Ask him. He'll answer you. However he see fit to answer, he will do it. Remember, Jesus didn't do it all by himself. He had the Father and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and he had his disciples and his apostles. He had them all. He had willing vessels. Amen? And we can see throughout the course of history that they all had issues and still had issues when they had the Holy Ghost. But one thing they can say is that God has never failed me. And we can say that too because we're still here. God has never failed me. I failed him because I missed the mark. God has not missed the mark. So I need to check myself. Why should I treat my God any old type of way when he hasn't treated me this way? It's the same way as being in a relationship. It don't matter what type it is. You want that individual to treat you right. You want that individual to love you right. You want that individual to be the best to you. Hallelujah. Like you are to them, right? That's what we want. Don't you believe God want the same? Why we can't do that with him? Why we can't love him right? Why we can't treat him right? Why we can't give him the best? Why we can't be there for him when he call on us? The Bible tells us to love him first. Right? <laughs> love him first. 
before you can love anything or anyone else. Relationships aren't easy work. But with God. But with God. Amen? The Bible says he, he wants us to submit to him. Submit, therefore, unto God. What we try to do, instead of trying to miss the mark, what we try to do sometimes, we try to miss the enemy of our souls by not submitting to God. But the Bible says submit to him first, then resist the enemy. And then when you, then when you resist the enemy, he'll flee. That's the word, right? But for you to be able to resist the enemy, what, you, what do you have to do? You have to submit to the power there is. And that's God. I don't do this higher power thing. The only power I know is God. And the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Jesus. I know him. Yeah? You have to submit so we don't miss the mark. So if I, if I give you any practical point, one would be submit. And submission is not easy because that's that calls for discipline. It does. So you have to submit. Sometimes we're used to being in charge. Now we have to submit to one that is in charge. Submit. Two, talk to yourself. Tell yourself, no, not today. Be honest with yourself. Self, yeah, I want to do that. I want to say that. Not today. For real. Be honest with God. Yeah, he already know, but he want to hear from you. That's how you build the connection. Relationships take communication. I, yeah, God, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to say this. I want to say that. I want to go over there. I want to go over here. All right? Be honest. Third point, last point. Pray. Pray. If you don't know what the Lord is saying, and they, this is what they taught me years ago, open the book, because there's 66, <laughs> and you're going to hear God in one of them. It's the truth, because God is his word. He doesn't separate from it. He puts his word above his name, because he is his word. Amen, Shay Sean? Amen. See, amen. 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 So I pray that you got something from this. I pray that God will find you right where you are and you will open up to him even more after today and do what Paul said. Die to the flesh daily. It's not fun. It's not easy. It's not popular. No, it's not. All right. Now, now that we acknowledge that, now let's just do it. <laughs> Isn't that what Nike said? And I'm not getting a check for this endorsement. Just do it, right? It's the check. It says just do it on the shirt, right? Yeah, just just do it. See, there's a check. Even Nike know. Just do it. Be about God's business, right? He said if you delight yourself in the Lord, he'll give you what? The desires of what? Your heart. I'm a believer. I've seen it done. And I believe God going to keep doing it. Hallelujah. Is the sound back in? Wonderful Savior. Wonderful Savior. God is amazing. Come on. We got to be about him. We got to be about his business, y'all. Time is winding up. And I know we can feel it. The unbeliever, the believer, no matter who you are, what you profess, you can feel that time is winding up. You can feel it. You can sense it. Jesus is soon to come, whether you acknowledge it or not. The Son of Man is soon to come. And I'm telling you, my, one of my fears is that he going to catch me not being ready. No, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> he ain't going to catch me slipping. No, I ain't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I'm not too ghetto. I'm too ghetto. <laughs> Hear what I'm saying? He not going to catch me slipping. I'm telling you. I'm too, much, I'm too much of a thug for the God to catch me slipping. Listen, I've been in these streets long enough to know how to operate. You feel me? I know. When I say these streets, I mean, I mean the church. Hallelujah. 
I've been in the church streets long enough to know how to operate. I'm telling you. I've been taught well. We've been taught well. Now we need to take what we've been taught and distribute it. Implement it. Give it out. Share the good news. We want to be all deep and uh, the Lord said, yada, yada. no, 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 no. How about the Lord said he loves me? And that's it. Because, you know, now we got to stay six feet. You can't hug him, you know. But just to say God love you, oh, that's a good hug. God cares for you. He's concerned about you. That's prophecy. Encouraging, comfort, and exhortation. That's prophecy. All right? Hallelujah. I'm telling y'all, that, that wasn't even my, that wasn't even a word, man. I had something else, way different. And it was a lot lighter. It was, God, you know, hallelujah, glory to me. <laughs> We're going to smile and be happy over there. Child, but you can still be smiling and be happy over there. Why? Because God is looking at you. And he wants you to be in the place. He wants you to be in the place. So when he decides to release a flood of blessings, not one by one, two by two, but a flood of them, you'll be in the right place at the right time to receive the goodness of the Lord. Amen? To receive the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is amazing. God is a good God. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Play something nice for me. Hallelujah. Play something nice for me. Oh, sweet. Hallelujah. God is good. Now I want you to begin to worship the Lord where you are. Praise God where you are. Come on now when you begin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you begin to minister to the Lord after hearing the word, what happens is it starts to digest. The word starts to digest. It starts to take a hold, take root. Hallelujah. Your faith becomes even more built. Come on, come on, come on. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. If you know this word is for you, because everybody may not accept the word or receive it, and that's okay. That's between you and the Father. But if you know you received it, and this is for you, praise God now. God, you told me to check myself. I prefer to check myself before you check me. Hallelujah. <laughs> Come on, worship him. of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. And we highlight and underline and make bold the word fullness. That means his joy is never empty. Hey! It's impacting. It's, it has a lot in it. More than we can even think or comprehend. Come on, in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. And then at his right hand, there are pleasures. Never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed beg for bread. Whatever you stand in need of today, you don't have to beg for a thing. You can humbly go to the Father and ask. You can go to the Father and knock on the door. 
You can seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else will be added to you. Come on. The order is already in the word. It's set up for us. Success is already set up for us. All we have to do is discipline ourselves, check ourselves, and follow the pattern. Follow the blueprint. Follow the plan that has already been written. And it withstood the, hallelujah, the test of time. If you stand in need of anything, keep in mind. Hallelujah. That he shall supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. Through who? His son, Christ Jesus. What you need is already taken care of. Whatever way you need to be made has already been made. Now all you need to do, hallelujah, is trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Hallelujah. Lean not to your own understanding. See, check yourself. Acknowledge him, not yourself. Check, check yourself. And know this, he's going to direct your paths. He's going to direct them. He's going to do it. After you do what you have to do. But he's going to do it. The just man's steps are already ordered. A good man's steps are already ordered. It's already ordered. All you need to do is walk. Walk. But you can't walk any type of way. You must walk by what? Faith and not by what? Sight. Hallelujah. Because you have to know that you know that you know. That it's impossible to please God without what? Faith. And you got to keep in mind that faith without works is dead. You can't just go around over here to I believe I have faith. Oh, I have faith. But you ain't doing nothing. You ain't putting no feet to your faith. You ain't putting no hands to your faith. You ain't putting no elbow grease to your faith. I'm telling you what I've been through, what I'm going through, what I know, what he's bringing me through. I'm telling you. You can't walk this walk alone. You can't do it alone. Come on, you need the Lord. You need the Lord. You need the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm not, I'm not going to prolong, but just stay in this space for a little bit. I got a little time. Yeah, I got a little time. Hallelujah. The elder said I got a little time. Stay in this space. I want you to worship him now. Come on, from everything that you just heard, Worship him from there. Praise him from there. Come on, do it, do it, do it. Let the Father hear you. Come on, worship in front of your children. Come on, praise in front of your children. Show them how it's done. Come on, express your hallelujah. Express your love to the Lord in song, in praise. Come on, in the clapping of your hands, opening your mouth. Let him hear your voice. 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 We're going to pray because I feel prayer. We're going to pray. But come on, let him hear your voice. We're going to pray and then we're going to take up offering. Hallelujah. And we're going to do the altar call. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In that order. Hallelujah. If I go out that order, y'all bring me back. Glory to his name. But come on, worship him right here, right now. Come on, come on. Because now your belly is full. Your spirit is full. Your mind, hallelujah, has been brought back to the place of soundness. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Peace has came in. Hallelujah. Joy has taken over. Come on. Strength has taken over. Hallelujah. Healing has taken over. Clarity has taken over. Understanding has taken over. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wisdom has taken over. Come on, saints of God. 
right where you are. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and worship him. Hallelujah. He is the God of wisdom. Yes, he is. He is the God of knowledge. Yes, he is. He is the all-knowing, all-seeing, all-wise, true and living God. Yes, he is. Come on, come on, saints of God, right where you are. He is the one, hallelujah, who fills our cups, hallelujah, and calls them to run over. Wonderful Savior. He is the one, hallelujah, who heals our physical body, our mortal bodies. Oh, wonderful Jesus. He is the one who regulates our blood. He is the one. Yes, he is. He is the protector. He told us in his word that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. It doesn't matter what it is. It won't prosper. Oh, wonderful Jesus. He is that one. Oh, wonderful Savior. He is the one who causes us to run into shelter and there we can hide. Hallelujah. Oh, wonderful Savior. We bless your name, God. We glorify your name, God. Hallelujah. You are the one. Yeah. You are the one we can run to. Hallelujah. And we'll be right there for us. You are that one. You're the one who cares for us. You're the one. You're the one. You're the one. You're the one. Come on, saints. Come on, saints. Come on, push and press. Come on. It shouldn't be hard now. Hallelujah. Because God is there. It shouldn't be hard now. Hallelujah. Because you have the attention of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You have the attention of the one who created everything. The one who was not created, but just was, just is, and will ever be. Hallelujah. You have his attention. Now that you have his attention, I want you to give him glory. Give him praise. Come on. Hallelujah. Don't ask him for anything because know that your need is already met. Come on now. Give it to him. Thank him for it before the battle is over. Praise him now. Come on. Praise him now. Praise him now. Praise him now. Praise him now. He is the Alpha and the Omega. Yes, he is. He is the beginning and the end. Oh, yes. He is the first and he's the last. Oh, yes, he is. 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 I feel God. I feel God. Oh, yes, he is. He's the one who will cause us to check ourselves. Oh, yes, he is. He's the one who will tell us to put ourselves back into place. Oh, yes, he is. He's patient. He's kind. He's patient. And he's kind. He's patient. And he's kind. He's long-suffering. Oh, yes, he is. He's long-suffering. Oh, yes, he is. So, God, we praise you. Oh, yeah, yeah. God, we praise you. Oh, yeah, yeah. God, we praise you. Oh, yeah. God, we praise you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, sing to him a new song. God, we praise you. Oh, yeah. You've supplied every need. You met every need. <laughs> you came to see about me. So we praise you. I don't have no voice, but we praise you. Come on, come on. <laughs> you supplied all of my needs. Yeah. You met all my needs. And you came to see about me. Oh, we praise you. We praise you. <laughs> Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. I know you feel him. Because as I worship him, my, my, my spirit is getting full. I feel God pouring into us. Come on, I feel God pouring into us. Come on, I'm telling you, I'm almost, I'm almost done. I just feel like I spoke in tongues. I'm almost done. Hallelujah. I'm almost done, I'm telling you. Just give him a little bit more. A little bit more. Come on, come on, come on. Bask in this encounter. Come on, receive this experience. 
open up for this outpour. Hallelujah. Sing to him a new song. Come on, Shay, sing to him a new song. Come on, elders, sing to him a new song. Come on, let him hear your voice. Give him the sincerity of your heart. Give him the sentiments of your heart. Come on, come on, saints. Yeah, yeah. And so we praise you. Ah, yeah. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than kind to me. Hallelujah. Woo! You've been better than good to me. You've been better than kind to me. So I praise you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I praise you. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than kind to me. So I praise you. Oh, yeah. So I praise you. Can I say it again? You've been better than good to me. You've been better than kind to me. So I praise you. Hey. So I praise you. Hey. You've been better than good to me. You've been better than kind to me. So I praise you. Ah, yes. So I praise you. You've been better than good, better than good, better than good, better than good to me. You've been better than kind to me. So Lawrence, praise you. Lawrence, praise you. Hey. <laughs> praise him. Woo. Praise everybody praise him will you sing it with me praise him will you say Jesus Jesus blessed Savior blessed come on say he's worthy he's worthy to be praised Come on, let's go back to the time. Come on, everybody, call, praise him. Praise him. Everybody say, praise him. Yeah, there you go. Come on, get happy. Praise him. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. What's his name? Blessed Savior. He's worthy to be praised. Come on, two more times. Let's do it again. I feel good on this one. Oh, praise him. Every day of my life I will. Yanni, I'm going to praise him. Oh, you're going to find me. Come on. Jesus, blessed Savior, oh, he's worthy to, ah, yeah, come on, one more time, make it real good, come on, everybody across the air, say praise him, praise, come on, praise him, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, Praise Jesus, this is what we will do. Pray. We call him Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Call him again, say. Two more times, call him Jesus. Jesus, say. Jesus. Blessed Savior. You're worthy. Be to come on, be praised. Be 
praise. Come on, bless the name of God. Hallelujah. 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 Now we're, we're going to take an offering. Hallelujah. It may have popped up on the screen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you know I'm not overseeing <laughs> Daryl Smith. Hallelujah. But I'm going to use his word. You know what the Lord deserves. And you know, hallelujah, what you should be giving God. Your 10%. Huh? That's your tithe. Right? And then comes an offering. Huh? Now you know, hallelujah. You know. I ain't got to tell you. I ain't got to put no fancy words up here. I ain't got to tell you what God going to do. You know. If you read the word, you know what he will do. When you give your tithe. Praise him. See, when you give, it's a form of praise. It's a form of gratitude. It's a form of appreciation. It's you are letting God know, I'm standing in covenant with you. I'm letting God know, hallelujah, that I'm thankful for what he's given me. The overflow, the abundance, huh? The very little, the very much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To whom much is given, much is required. Now, if you know you got much, much is required from you. Hallelujah. You know you get six figures, now you better get that money. Hallelujah. <laughs> come on, come on. Because I know when you was a child like I was, they taught us to give a dollar. It don't matter. Give a dollar. Give a quarter. It don't matter the size of the offering. It matters whether or not you were cheerful about it. Because the Bible says, God loves a what? Cheerful giver. Come on, you got to be happy about giving. I know, I know, sometimes it get a little challenging, you know. It get a little hard out there. A little hard, you know. They say it's hard for a pimp. You, we, we, you, know, you know, we got a little pimp to the church. It get hard out here, you know what I mean? God said he want this 10%, but God, that 10% check, yeah. that's about to go to this groceries, it's about to go to this bill. God don't want your bills, you hear? He don't want that. He want what he deserves. That is 10%. And if you don't have it right now, that's okay. Because God is going to provide that so you can have it again. So then you can give. So at this very moment, if you don't have it, give your attention, give your energy, give your praise, give your worship. Give your time to God. Say, this is me. I'm tithing me. The Bible says, I beseech ye therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, uh, that ye present your, give me a little church, uh, bodies a living sacrifice, yeah, holy and acceptable unto God, which is, hey, 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 hey. Watchmen now, your reasonable servant. Hallelujah. <laughs> See, they play too much. Come on. That's if you don't have to present your bodies. Amen. Come on, but we give it right now. We give it. We give it. Come on. Have your children to give too. Let them know why they give. Let them know what comes with giving. You don't give to God and don't get nothing back. When you give to God, you better expect to get something back. Come on. Come on. Come on, give it to him. Yeah, we know God has everything. And everything belongs to him. But you don't have everything. <laughs> and everything should be. Come on, give it to him. Give it to him. Amen. Come on, give it to him. Don't he break that thing down? He does. He's a wonder. <laughs> Hallelujah. I had no voice today, y'all. I shouted it all out throughout the week. <laughs> God is good. So now we're going to have our altar call. Okay. To those that may be on here. And you may not know Jesus in the pardon of your sin. You may not even know who he is. You may not have even heard of him. It's possible. But let me tell you. The old folk used to say he's the lily in the valley. 
He's the bright and morning star. He's the rose of Sharon. He's the I am that I am. He's the one that doesn't change but remains the same. He's the one that loves you more than any man or woman. Huh? He's the one, hallelujah, that blew purpose into your life. He's the one that has you here watching. So you're not watching by happenstance. Huh? You ain't missed the mark by watching. <laughs> you check that one off. I want you to know that God cares for you. God absolutely loves you. It doesn't matter what you've done, where you've been, where you think you're trying to go, where you're trying to go, what you're trying to do. It doesn't matter. That doesn't change his love toward you. For it's with love and kindness has he done what? Drawn us. He loves you. Let me tell you. For God so loved the world that he did what? He gave his only begotten son that whosoever do what? Believe in him shall not what? Perish but have everlasting life. See, God did a thing that man can't do, which was be selfless. Sometimes it's challenging for humans to be selfless. But God, it wasn't, it wasn't a challenge. He probably didn't want to do it, but it wasn't a challenge. He gave his son. He gave something that was a part of him to us so that we can live again. Amen? For there is now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Amen? So I want you... So come on through here. Let me tell you, the road ain't going to be easy. It ain't going to be easy. It's not. It's not at all. Okay? Life is just is it easy. All right? But with Jesus Christ, it's possible. And it's doable. And you can get through it with him. Some of the bumps in the roads that we come across, we can miss. Because he becomes our GPS. He becomes our orchestrator. He becomes our guide, our lead. Okay? So if you don't have them, we're going to pray now. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, God, I thank you for those that are watching. I thank you for those, hallelujah, that have heard of you but may not really know you. That have not heard of you. Hallelujah. And this may be their first time hearing about you. I pray, God, that, God, you will tug on their heart. I pray that they heard something, hallelujah, that will cause them to want to get closer to you that will make them inquisitive, curious about you. Hallelujah. That will make them question, who is this God? Hallelujah. I pray this day, dear Heavenly Father, hallelujah, that your love, hallelujah, that covers a multitude will cast out their fear, hallelujah, of knowing you. Hallelujah. Or not knowing what it would be like being in relationship with you. Allow your love, to, hallelujah, to cast out that fear. Hallelujah. God, I pray, God, that your love, hallelujah, will cast out doubt and worry. Hallelujah. And concerns. Hallelujah. I pray that your love, hallelujah, will take over every being. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, I pray now in the name of Jesus that they will come closer to you. Those that are, hallelujah, a part of your kingdom, that they will draw closer to you. We will draw closer to you. In prayer, hallelujah, we will draw closer to you. In your word, hallelujah, in worship, in praise, hallelujah. Our lifestyle will become worship. We will no longer just sing songs, but our life will become the song. I pray now, dear Heavenly Father, that as the days roll on, that this word will continuously remind us to check ourselves. To die to this flesh daily. In the name of Jesus. And I thank you for our Bishop Jason Furlow. I thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for those that are with him across seas in South Africa. I thank you, hallelujah, hallelujah, for the mission that you have them on. And I also pray now, Jesus, God, that you will give them rest even now. I pray, God, that you will still replenish their bodies. I pray, God, God, 
even through the ministry part, God, that you will be seen and heard and you will be felt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that they will experience you. Hallelujah. Experience another level of glory. Hallelujah. Another wave of your presence. Hallelujah. I pray now, God, hallelujah, that goodness and mercy shall follow them. Hallelujah. While they are out there, I pray now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That the breaker will be with them. Hallelujah. I pray that the deliverer will be with them. Hallelujah. I pray that the battle axe will be with them. I pray that the sword of the spirit will be with them. I pray now, hallelujah, that the fire of the Holy Ghost will be with them. I thank you now that your voice will lead them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will be like a cloud by day and the fire by night. I thank you. Hallelujah. And I thank you now, God, for what you're doing for me. <laughs> Bless me indeed. Bless me indeed. <laughs> I thank you now, hallelujah, that you've called me. I thank you. I thank you that you've anointed me, you've appointed me. Hallelujah. I thank you. I thank you, God, that you've used me, hallelujah, in the manner which you've chosen. God, I thank you. I thank you, dear Heavenly Father, hallelujah, that you've got your word across. I thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have thine own way. Hallelujah. And I want to release the word of the Lord in general to everyone. Hallelujah. But the Lord is saying, hallelujah, to a people, hallelujah, that we are going to encounter, hallelujah, something called the goodness of God. It's just that simple. Just that simple, right? Just that simple. We're going to encounter something called the goodness of God. We've experienced God's goodness, hallelujah, periodically throughout our lives. You know? And the scripture that I wanted to hold up was Psalm 23, the last portion where it said, Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I want, and dot, 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 dot. I should dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God is saying to his people that my goodness you will encounter. Yes, it's to the faithful. And I must say this as well, because there's a scripture that says God sends the rain on the just as well as the unjust. That's because he's a just God. Meanwhile, no God don't have favoritism. But of course, when you've been doing God's work for so long, and you've been in the will for so long, you're going to get a little something, sign, a little extra something, sign. You understand? The sort of faith and if you haven't been faithful, check yourself. Become faithful. God is yet faithful. He's yet forgiving. And he's a God who's able to redeem. Amen? He will throw all of your sins into the sea of forgetfulness to remember them no more. But now you got to forgive yourself. Repent to the Father and move forward. Press. Put that work in. Put that time in. Because payday is coming after a while. Whatever form that may look like, goodness will come in different forms. Goodness varies. But just know it will follow you all the days of your life. And remember, goodness is just, isn't just a materialistic thing. Goodness is the Father. But God is good. And His mercy is everlasting. And His truth endures throughout all all generations goodness is going to follow the saints of God is going to encounter the goodness of God yes there's going to come hardship but the saints of God hallelujah the faithful will not encounter those they won't feel it so much because he has, he's has, he has hidden us in his pavilion we're hiding we're closed. So don't step out for anything. Don't allow your emotions to take you over. Don't allow your mind to cause you to detour. Please don't do it. Because the goodness of God is about to come into the earth in a whole nother way. I'm telling you. Yes, there are other terrors that may come in the earth. But you, saints of God, us, those that are faithful, will be faithful. 
but we're going to start anew. Amen. We'll encounter the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. And I want to give God praise. Hallelujah. That's the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. There's more, but I don't want to give too much. Um, I feel like my time was far spent. It's 150. Hallelujah. To God be the glory for all of the things that he has done. He is a wonder in my soul. And I absolutely love him. I do. I love him. I love him because he loves me. I promise y'all, I'm not in this for nothing else but because he loves me. When I look about, look back at everything, I see nothing but love. That's the truth. I see nothing but love. I don't see anything else, Brother John. I don't see nothing else but love. He loves me. He loves me. And he loves you. So go throughout your week today, this week, and I want you to declare to yourself and profess and, and confess that he loves me. And because he loves me, I'm going to make it through. Huh? I'm going to get to my next level of success because he loves me. And it's already planned. It's already planned. Hardships may come your way, but it doesn't change God's love towards you. It doesn't change the plan of God for you. So remain encouraged, people. Remain encouraged, sister. Remain encouraged, brother. Remain encouraged, young one. Older one. Wise one. Not so wise one. Remain encouraged. God loves you. And he's going to see you through as long as you allow him to. Come on. Don't have Jonah's experience. Don't get caught up in no fish. A customized fish. <laughs> you know, don't have those experiences. Don't wait until you're on your sick bed to want to say, oh God, all right, do it. No, 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 no. Say yes now while you still have the activities and the usage of your limbs. Come on. And then go around encouraging your brother and sister. You can do this. We can do it better together. If you see your brother or sister at fault, help him. Don't judge him. Show him love. Man, put and scoot him back to where God is. Go on back to his. You, you already know. You know? Come on. Sometimes this comes with experience. So pray that the Lord would allow his love to permeate your being. Hallelujah. He's a wonder in my soul. And as, as I digress, as I digress, once and for all, because two o'clock is it. <laughs> once and for all. Always remember, Jesus. Jesus. Always keep him on your mind. Somehow or another, put them on there. Sometimes you, you got too much on your mind, you got you to gotta stop what you're doing and put them on there. Isn't that right? This not me, again, this not me being big or missing seriously. I'm telling you what I do, what I know works. If you think on him, he'll give you peace of mind. Because I think the word said, I think I said, uh -huh. if you put, keep your mind on me, he'll keep you in what? Perfect peace. Say, Sean is a preacher. He'll keep you in perfect peace. And we wonder why we are not experiencing peace on levels of peace. Sometimes it's because our minds are not on the peacemaker. 
Our minds are not on the Prince of Peace. Once you take your mind off of the thing that matter, then everything else that don't matter come on through. You see what I'm saying? We got to put these things into practice so then they can become a norm. Why we don't experience so much healing? Sometimes it's because we, we rely on man-made things and not on Jesus solely. Don't get me wrong, you got you to take that medication now. Hello, because Jesus gave man the know-how and all that great stuff. But you can't lose faith on the healer. He said in this word, I am Jehovah Rapha, the Lord God who healeth thee. What I'm doing right now is building you up in your faith, causing you to remain encouraged and trying to uncloud your mind and put it at ease so that your emotions, won't go crazy or bonkers. They got to be leveled. And this is the truth. The truth is, Jesus is the truth. <laughs> the way and the life, I just switched it up, but the, he is. And remember, for we live in him, we move in him, and we we have our being in look, look got a lot of preachers now. We have our being in him. So if you want to get through in anything, it got to be in him. In him. Again, brother, sister, be encouraged. Take on strength. Take on joy. Take on healing. Take on deliverance. Take on freedom. Take on restoration. Hallelujah. Because it's all in him. All in him. The word is in him. It's all in him. Hallelujah. It's all in him. Glory to his name. I love you. And I love you again. And I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. So, 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 so much. I love you. But Jesus loves you way more. Love everybody. Amen. Amen. Y'all pray for me when I travel back to my, well, it ain't my hometown, but y'all pray for me when I travel back <laughs> to South Carolina. <laughs> y'all pray, okay? I'll be back up north soon again, but I ain't driving. <laughs> I ain't driving. That car's staying down in. I'm not driving. I love you. And if y'all have any questions about the word, feel free to inbox me. In Messenger, Facebook, Messenger, right? Or you can message the, the church, and they will send it to me. And let me know if you have any questions, any prayer requests. By all means, send it to the, uh, the Messenger, Delaware, New York, whichever one you use. Send it to them so we can stand in agreement with you. Amen? Again, you're not in this alone. Sometimes it feels like it, but don't let your emotions trick you. Don't allow the enemy of your soul to trick you. You're not in this alone. There are brothers and sisters out here warring with you and for you. Come on. Come on. You got to utilize the resources that is, that's at hand. You got to. We have so many resources right in front of us, but we don't want to use them. It is pride. And then it's fear. And then it's condemnation. But be free. Be free. The love of God sets you free today. Be free. Be free to do God's will. Be free to love everyone. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free to pray. Be free to worship. Come on, the world is free to do whatever they want to do. We need to go and learn, be free and do the will of God. Be free. And don't be embarrassed. Huh? They got hats out here. I saw one today. Make America great again. I said, oh, Lord. He's an old man, so I ain't going to mess with him. <laughs> but, you know, they got that out here. Now I want to say, let's make the kingdom great again. Let's make the church great again. Let's make ourselves great again. Hmm? 
check yourself and move forward. I love you. I enjoyed you. I enjoy everybody else. Come on. Let's hallelujah. God is good. God is so good. Hallelujah. God is good. Y'all going to make me start up again. Y'all better come. Hallelujah. God is good. Do the one thing.